This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God. Read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue unlearning the world with Book 2. In Chapter 2, this is Section 10. Food, Exercise and Physical Care Friend The first part of my question is Have you noticed that you agree with certain foods more than others? Or are you totally free from body needs or complaints? The second is Do you exercise? And part three of this same question is Would you comment on how to deal with the fact that we have a body here in this plane that requires physical care? David The Holy Spirit's curriculum is highly individualized. The guidance that I heard was to eat what is served. The Holy Spirit can prompt you not only in terms of dietary needs, but also in terms of all that would be most helpful in your journey. Wherever your mind seems to be in the spiritual awakening. My experience has been a reflection of the ACIM workbook lesson I will step back and let him lead the way. Workbook Lesson 155 I was guided to join fully with my brothers and not let food be an obstacle. There was to be no debate or sense of being separated off by what can be eaten and what cannot be eaten. The Spirit said that not only was I to just accept and eat whatever was offered, but the main focus was to join with my brother in love, without allowing anything such as food to come between us. Dietary requirements are part of the ego belief system. I recall working with Lesson 50. I am sustained by the love of God. It highlights that beliefs in bills, money and protective clothing are all defenses. I was glad that Jesus was so specific about these kinds of things because I really wanted to go deeper in my mind training. Then I came to lesson 76. I am under no laws but God's. He mentions nutrition in there specifically. I realized that I had to question my beliefs in everything I believed about nutrition. I had learned a lot through seemingly growing in this world and from studying at the university for 10 years. I had to let go all of the beliefs about healthy foods. I had to let go of beliefs about cholesterol and polyunsaturated fats, calories, etc. I really had to come to the realization that I do not know what anything is for. I had to come to a place of asking, Please show me how to join with my brother and sister and let go of these thoughts and doubts and concerns about nutrition. 
That was how it progressed. It is the same with exercise. Exercise is a belief that I certainly was involved with for quite a few years. All the way down to seemingly being a professional tennis instructor, belonging to health clubs, doing a lot of exercise routines, running a mini marathon, etc. I was concerned about cardiovascular fitness and weight training. Then it came to a point where everything began to be used as symbols. I began speaking to groups about the parables of letting it all go and learning to open up to God's love. Exercise and nutrition are just concepts. Health, if you come at it in a practical way, is inner peace. Therefore, health involves the thinking. Health is purely a mental state of mind that seems to be reflected in the physical. There is no inner or outer in enlightenment. Mind is unified. We cannot say that the inner world of thought influences the outer world of matter because everything is mental and nothing is physical. In that state, which is the state of enlightenment, you really do not have a care or thought for the body. It is really about putting full attention on your purpose and that is very practical. To round out this series of questions as you really care for your mind, everything that seems to involve the care of the body is taken care of. Food is given. It is a backdrop for joining. You do not have to refuse things. I always use Jesus as my learning model because he still seemed to walk the planet when he was here and he still went through the same bodily processes as far as urinating and defecating and putting loaves of bread and fish in his mouth. He seemed to look like a lot of human beings even though he often responded to the Apostle's concern about him not eating enough by saying things like, I have manna that comes from the heavens. But the symbol of Jesus was used in a way that people could still relate to him. If he never ate or drank, He would have looked like an alien. It is easier to learn from someone that you can relate to rather than from someone you perceive as having dropped in from another planet. Though he transcended the physical laws, it was very helpful that he still seemed to do things that looked pretty human.